here I am with the Singer 500J Gina, continuing along with getting it cleaned up after its uh, arrival here in the apartment in downtown Montreal. What we're working on today is the replacement of the throat plate position bracket and all of its associated, associated parts. The throat plate is this plate right here, and it normally sits right in there like that. And so this bracket and all its pieces, they adjust this to move up and up and down so that it can just be very easily removed with, you know, with a couple of fingers. Singer made these changes or innovations back in the day when sewing machines were everything because obviously the majority of their customers were women and they had, they had nails. They had nails to, uh, to look after and uh, nail polish to, to look after. So, and a lot of them were sewing gentle cloths and stuff, so they weren't uh, sewing machine mechanics by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, here's the parts. Starting here, we have the indicator plate. This whole thing, let me read it, the whole thing here is called the throat plate position bracket, and we could maybe call it assembly or device or machine or whatever, but anyway, here is the um, indicator plate. Is that what they call this? Let's see, they got, yeah, indicator plate. These are the screws that attach the indicator plate to the body. Here we have the spring. This is the spring, and this is the stop, and then this is the actual bracket itself. Over here we have the springs. We have another bracket here for these two devices. These are the These are the brackets that fit inside these, these tubes, these uh, orifices. And these have to go on like this so that, whoopsie daisy. I mean, they'll be down in the, in the tubes here, but the part that we will see is these two cut-ins. And we have to make sure that they face inward because that is where, oh, it's magnetic. That is where the plate slides in. And then when these pins go down, the plate is secured. So we're going to start first by turning the sewing machine on its back. And we'll take this Where are you? You're looking down there. We don't need you looking down there right now. Oopsie daisy. So what I'm doing is taking this end of the bracket, then I have to maneuver or turn it so that I can get that through there like that. Now I can upright the machine again. And that is where I have access to it right now.
Thank you. Okay. What we're going to do first is we're going to take the the spring and we are going to have it face like that. So that's where that lever needs to be right now for assembly. We have the screw hole there. And we can see that this axle type cross piece sits in the curved parts of the spring down there. Then we're going to take the, the stop And it goes on like that. Then we're going to take the indicator. and attach the, the screws. These are soft screws, I believe they're brass. So tighten them, but do not over tighten them because they will bend or break. There, so that's our top work done again for now. The old machine in position here. So that's where the bracket sits when it is all put together, which it isn't yet. A couple of things I'd like to point out quickly on the machine in a second. Just want to move my parts there. Yeah, what I want to point out is that this is where the hook is attached to a gear which mates up with this gear here. But the hook and uh, the, the timing pin or whatever, which is that screw there, 
that's where we would see it. We'd see the hook axle there and the timing pin axle there. I'm going to check on that timing pin name because that's not the correct name. But uh, so this has been cleaned. And so it's very clear here for working on our thing. So what we're going to do next is where I guess the way it's going to go is first we're going to take our pins. Well, I was way too close there. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> 